Hi everyone, I'm Russ. Hi, I'm Mark. And this is a Spirited Endeavor. Priming the Pump Edition. That's right. Okay, so tonight <laughs> we're going to uh, do something a little different. Boy, are we. Oh boy. So um, this whiskey is made by Pabst Blue Ribbon. I have nothing but the highest of expectations. <laughs> but you know what? It's This is actually kind of a serious whiskey. It's it's a four grain whiskey. Yeah. So um, it's um, here. It's actually written right on the bottle. So fifty two percent corn. Mm -hmm. All right. So twenty uh, seven percent malted barley. Um, seventeen percent wheat and four percent rye. And I have to admit, the mash bill is a bit of a surprise to me. I know, right? I was expecting corn. Yeah, that's kind of where I was going with that, and I was a bit shocked when I saw the mash bill. Now, I do love the age statement on this one. Oh, yeah, yeah, because it's been aged for five seconds. Yes. So, basically, it passed through a barrel. <laughs> exactly. So, um, enough to be called a, a whiskey. Uh, Close can't, enough. Can't be called a bourbon, though. Yeah. Now, that said, you know, we were talking about this earlier, and neither of us has tried anything that really hasn't been aged I know, in right? Oak, so. so, it'll be really interesting to see what, you know, just a unfinished whiskey tastes like. Yeah. I, I am really curious. Now, this one's 40% ABV, so, I mean, it's not going to... Mm knock your socks off I think as far as flavor is concerned but you know like I said without being in the barrel who knows what it retains flavor wise I know but uh, uh, I want to get into it because I tell you what that color is dazzling yeah it really is <laughs> <laughs> all, right, all right this is gonna be fun all right let's see how we get into this thing all right if that's not a screw top I would be shocked I know right well let's find out it has a cork holy crap and a synthetic cork. Wow. Yeah, that's, uh, again, surpassing my expectations. Damn. Yeah, Mark and I are comparing notes on what he, what we picked up. I grabbed some something one visit and he grabbed this during his visit and it was just hysterical as soon as I saw that okay so color uh yeah color um you know what that's oily that is actually that is very oily really oily and uh see that color I, I mean that's as dark as whiskey as I've ever seen absolutely yeah, I, I know, love right? the amber well you know white light has every color in it that's right there you go yeah, that does have nice oils. It though. does. Um, all right, I'm curious. Um, let's talk about the barrel influence. Yeah, <laughs> there is none. It's uh, so sweet. It is. You get sweet. the corn sweetness. You get a little bit of ethanol for me, anyhow. Yeah, it's it's yeah. There's a lot of ethanol in that. There's corn sweetness. There's mm -hmm. no earthiness. There's no. I mean, that's. I don't know that I'm getting anything from the other grains, really. Yeah, um, that's something that could subtle. Yeah, that's something that can degrease an engine block. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. If it doesn't taste good, at least it should make a good cleaner. <laughs> well, shall we? All right, let us. Cheers. Cheers. Hmm. 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 That is interesting. That is kind of interesting. Um, it's bitter. There's a lot of bitterness. There. I mean, there's nothing to mellow out the whiskey. Yeah. Um, so there. I mean, there's no. I mean, it's. It's. I mean, it's kind of sweet initially. Mm -hmm. um, and then it's it's alcohol. Hmm. Yeah. It's um. Nice oils, I will say that. And at 40% ABV, like I said, it's not going to knock your socks off. It's um, it's not spiky. Um, there's none of the barrel influence, which is to be expected. I get a lot of corn. Mm -hmm. um, I get maybe a little bit of the barley. And then there's kind of this off, like, soury kind yeah, of thing on the back end that just doesn't hit me quite right. Yeah, exactly. It's It's sour. Um, hmm. Yeah, it's it's a very very sour whiskey. Um, I mean, it's uh, as tannic as you as you can get. There is none of the vanilla that you look forward to um, in a bourbon, which is yeah um, makes sense. I mean, because that, no, that's right out of the barrel. But that to me is probably the most interesting aspect of this is what it's lacking. 
you know, with all the bourbons that we've done, whiskeys as a whole, it's really interesting to have something that ha doesn't have any of that aging in what the barrel imparts. Mm. Kind of cool. I don't know that I necessarily want to go back to this for enjoyment, more for a comparison, perhaps. Uh, yeah, actually, that's that true statement. Now, um, I'd like to actually try this up against like a, like another four grain, you know, with a similar mash bill, and yeah. it might be interesting to see, you know, what this you know what this type of whiskey brings to the party. Yeah. Now, I think as a learning experience, this is very valuable. Now, what would also be interesting is taking a small sample and putting a piece of oak in it. Oh yeah, and see what that does. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't mind getting like a little barrel too, and we could and we could age it. Yeah, I mean, I can char some white oak and see what that does, or we can pick up a barrel or whatever. But it's there's a lot of different directions to go with that, just straight from the learning experience aspect of it. Um, but for me, it's not a pleasant sipper. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I you could throw this in any type of you know beverage to oh, yeah. you know, to juice it up yeah great mixer i think yeah i think so because there's, there's not it's not bringing a lot of flavor to the party no i i would certainly agree with that yeah something kind of you know maybe sweet and um i don't know i mean i would take this and i would put it in you know like a like a cape cod you know oh, instead yeah. of using vodka you know you know throw it in some cranberry juice and you know we'll, we'll squeeze a lime i think that'd certainly be. Well, it take care. It would get rid of that kind of odd finish that this has too, which I that would, I would definitely yeah, absolutely. appreciate that. Yeah, absolutely. Or if you want to take this and you know uh, cut a hole in a watermelon and I just dump that it in. would do there, it. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So well, interesting experience. Um, I guess from a scale standpoint, where do you stand? Oh, uh, you know what? I don't even know if I want to grade this one. I'm kind of with you. You know, I'm a little torn. Again, it's not something I'd want to drink regularly but from a from the learning standpoint i really dig what they've done here um and i think we could find some pretty interesting things to do with it i know right so I, I think yeah i think this is gonna be a fun one to play with yeah um and again i i want to kind of hold it outside of the uh the whiskey because it's yeah it's so different it's such an outlier you know it really is very cool though glad they did it and yeah. i'm glad we had a chance to try it well, thanks for joining us, everyone. I hope you had a good time. We sure did. We'll catch you on the next one. Take care. Okay, bye. Bye. <laughs> That's hysterical. That, yeah.